there, first grade friends, and welcome back from spring break. It's Mrs. Davis here with your writing lesson. Today is Monday, March 22nd. All right, friends, we're going to do a little spring break writing on Monday and Tuesday this week. So our goal for the first two days of our week is to write a story about your spring break. Some helpful tips. Make sure your story includes details for your reader. Make sure your story has a beginning, middle, and end, and tell your story from your point of view using the pronoun I. Your goal today is to do a little brainstorming. So Ms. Davis has included this printout if you would like to print it and draw your pictures and write your sentences on this page, you may do so, or you can always use a sheet of paper and divide it up into four sections. But what I'd like you to do for today's brainstorming is to think of four things that you did over spring break. And remember, for our small moment stories, it doesn't have to be anything big. It's perfectly fine if you didn't travel somewhere. I don't expect you to have a huge story about a big watermelon, right? We want those small moments that we're going to stretch out and add details. So Miss Davis did a little brainstorming what I did with my spring break. And I came up with four things that could be topics for stories. So the first topic I played and spent time with Reese. There he is, he's so cute. So I could write a story about one of the games we played, some of the fun we had. My next topic, I read a new book about a dragon. That was pretty exciting. I could write a story about that. Down here, I planted some new flowers in my yard. I did some yard work in the nice weather that we had. And last, I had lunch with my best friend, who I haven't seen in a while, at a park. So I came up with four topics. As you can tell, they're nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary, just four topics for stories that I could write about my spring break. So remember, friends, your goal today is to choose your four topics from your spring break. You can draw a quick sketch and then write one sentence about each of your topics because you'll be choosing your topic and beginning to plan out your story tomorrow and go ahead and start writing your story tomorrow. Go ahead and think about which of these four topics you would like to write all about. All right, friends, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.